In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the knapsack dynamic programming problem. And here is our table. And W, or the total weight, is 11. So you just do the, the columns from 0 to 11. And the, the items are from 1 to 6. Okay, so 1 to 6. And here we add in another row, row 0. Now, the rule says if I is equal to 0, I is the row, the row number. J is a column number. Okay, so if this is 0 or this one is 0, then just fill in 0. So this is row zero, just fill in zeros, and the column zero, so fill this in. Here, the total weight is one, and here the item weight is two. So we cannot select this item. Okay, so that falls into this category, which is not enough weight to select the item. Here is enough weight, here is not enough. So what do we do in this case? Just take the number at the top and put it into the box. So the number at the top is zero, put it in here, zero. Okay, now two, if the total weight is two, here we see the item weight is 2, so it is possible to select this item. So we're in this category, enough weight. So you take the max of these two values. So basically you take the number at the top, the number at the top is 0. And VI, VI is 7, the green number. So the green numbers are basically the values and the red numbers are basically the weight, as you can see. So V is 7 plus... What is this? What does this mean? It means you move up and move left w times. So here we move up, then we move left two times because of this weight too, right? So move up, move left two times, you get zero. So what's the max out of these? Seven. How about this one? Well, the total weight is three, the item weight is two, so it is possible to take this item. We're in this category. The max of the number at the top, which is 0, and VI, VI is 7, plus we move up once, we move left two times, 0. So what's the max? 7. How about this number? There is enough weight, because it's 4, right? So we're in this category. So the max of the number at the top, which is 0, and VI, 7, plus move up, move left two times, you get zero. It's going to be seven as well. And you can do the rest of these and you'll all get seven. The weight is one, the total weight is one. But here, the item weight is three, so we cannot select it. In that case, but just take the number at the top. Here is the same, the total weight is two, but the item weight is three, so not enough weight. Just take the number at the top, so seven. Here, we can take this number, we can, because it's three and three. So the max of the number at the top, which is 7, and VI, which is 1, plus we move up once and move left 3 times. 1, 2, 3, 0. So now, obviously, the max is 7. Here, it is enough weight. So we're going to take the number at the top, which is 7, or the value, which is, uh, which is 1, plus move up, move left 3 times. So 1, 2, 3, 0. So the max is 7. Here, there is enough weight. So 7. Or the value which is 1 plus move up once, move left 3 times. 1, 2, 3, 7. Now the max is 8. And you can keep doing uh, all of these. Okay, so now let's backtrack. This number here at the bottom right represents the maximum value we can obtain out of all of these items. So we start here. If the number to the top, so the number above it, is equal, that's what this sign means. It's equal. If it's equal to the number at the top, then we move upwards. So is this the case? Well, we look upwards, it's not the same. So else, we move up, move left, wi time. So the weight, wi, is 2. We basically, we move up, then move left 2. Okay, so let's draw it out. So we're here, and then we move up, move left 2 times, we're here. Okay, now let's repeat this process. The number above is not equal. So now the item weight is 3, which means we move up. Move left three times. We're here. Okay. The number above it is the same, so we just move up. Now, the number above it is not the same. So now the item weight is two, so we move up, move left two times. This. Okay. Now, the number above it is the same, so we circle it. Now, the number above is not the same, so the item weight is two. We move up, move left two times, and we're done. So the backtracking is done. We need to get the results. So let's say we're at this box, right? If the movement is diagonal, then we're at this number. 
and then we look at the, the row x then choose x so let me show you how to do it so we're here right we move di diagonally down and we look at the row it's one so x1 is one that's it that's the notation it means we select x1 entirely okay now we move downward uh we don't care about that so now we move diagonally and we're here and the row is item three so it means we selected item three entirely so x3 all on one we're here so we move downward we don't care about that now we move diagonally so we're here that means item five we selected item five then here is item six okay so item six we selected it entirely and that's basically it for the rest of the items like um, x2 and x4 it means we didn't select it so we write zero it means we didn't select it so i hope you guys enjoy if you like this and you want to buy me hot chocolate don't forget to subscribe have a nice day